Hey guys, today we are in Goldmark 7 with MIP2 based navigation system and I'm going to try to show you in one take uh, without any cuts how to punch the system to um, uh, work with, uh, so the system works with uh, navigation cards uh, that are not made by Volkswagen. So over here I have the original card and we will insert it just to make sure that the navigation is working correctly and we can see that this uh, source contains navigation database and when I press nav, we go um, we go to this screen and after a few seconds, when the card is verified, we can see that the navigation is working. So let's now safely safely remove the card. Uh, where's the removal? Removal, safety removal. <clears throat> okay. So this is the original card and I'm going to keep it over here. And here I have an... 32 gigabyte card which I just bought and I just copied all the files that um, that are need that are needed for the navigation to work but the yeah, but the card will not work in this system navigation is not valid because uh, because there's something called seed log and each card is um, uh, is uh, identified by a certain identification number and if the system detects that the card with the navigation database is um, not correct the identification number is not correct it will it will not let you use the navigation so they are they are forcing you to buy this card from the Volkswagen dealership so over here on the third card I have something called um, MIP2 standard toolbox so it's already installed. The toolbox is already installed in this unit. If you want to uh, see how it's done, I, uh, I've made a, made a video about it, so check it out. Uh, long story short, you need to have a car, uh, Volkswagen Seat or Skoda, with MIP2 based navigation system, um, the standard one, not the high one, and the system needs to be made by Technisat or uh, Prech not a Delphi unit or Harman unit. You need to have your developer mode enabled over here, which you can do with OBD11 or VCDS or whatever other diagnostic tool you have. And you need an SD card. Okay, so in the description of this video, I will post uh, some more details, the technical details, if you are interested in the toolbox. And right now, let's try to do it. And uh, of course, you are doing it at your own risk. So, I've placed the MIP2 standard toolbox SD card in the SD1 port. Right now I'm going to press and hold the new button for about 10 seconds. So um, right now we are, we are in service mode, but I'm keeping the button pressed. And over here in the test mode menu, we are going to green menu. Now let's go to toolbox toolbox, go to customization, go to Navi, and over here we have this option, patch navigation config, patching navigation config to allow usage of SD cards from other brands. Press. Successfully patched, please reboot the unit to apply changes. If something does not work, expect to use the restore function. Of course, this script that uh, just uh, um, that just were, uh, was triggered also made a copy of the original file, so we have a backup. So let's exit the menu. We can go all the way over here. We can even press menu. And right now to reboot the system, press and hold the uh, volume control knob for about 10 seconds and wait for the uh, clock to disappear. That's it. And now we are waiting for the system to boot up again. And hopefully it will work. And hopefully the card will work. So let's check. Um, let's remove the let's remove the toolbox uh, card first. And now let's use the aftermarket card to check if that worked. Checking navigation data.
and that's it as you can see the original card is over here not in the unit I have a spare uh, card that I just bought from uh, from uh, some online store copied all the files that are on the card which you can also download uh, for free from uh, Volkswagen website and I have this navigation working okay that's it for today. Check the description below of this video for uh, more technical specification and details. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this uh, tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.